Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video in what was a video I had no plan on making today. Big news coming out, um, being reported as a bit of a bombshell. I don't know, I think I think the, the signs have been there for a little while now, but it is to do with Newcastle United owner Amanda Staveley and reports are that she could well be leaving the club this summer window. Wow. Uh, I know we're talking about transfers quite a lot at the moment, but transferring one of the owners out, uh, I did not see that coming. Um, yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Taking a little bit off guard by this one. Originally, um, I think, pushed out by the sun uh, this early afternoon. Uh, quickly followed up by um, George Culkin and The Athletic as well. So some real uh, meat on the bones with this one as to what is going on with Amanda Savely, with Newcastle United, how... Has this come around? How is the club going to change? Uh, we're going to talk about that in this video. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, loads of videos coming out at the moment. Obviously, Newcastle's just totally wild right now. Um, despite the fact the Euros is on England tonight. Fingers crossed we can get through, you know, fluke our way through. I'll tell you what, though, the penalties were pretty good. The rest of the tournament's been bad. But the penalties we took in that quarterfinal were amazing. Uh, who knows, maybe we can take some more penalties tonight. It's, it's a different England. You just get knocked out on the pens now. We go through on the pens. But yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. As I say, the big news coming out today. Uh, as, as the bombshell that the Newcastle owner, Amanda Stavely, is set to leave the club after, you know, just uh, three years. You know, uh, quite a lot's happened in three years. But already it looks like Amanda Stavely could be out on her way. Let me know your thoughts straight away down in the comments. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this one? Obviously, Amanda Stavely was part owner, and she has actually been slowly but surely selling some of her shares over the last couple of years. And as I say, although this has, has been kind of pushed as a, as uh, described by the Sun as a bombshell, I think the, the the signs and hints... And it's not to say that I'm not gutted, by the way. Um, just because I thought it, it may have been something that would happen eventually, it doesn't mean that I'm not good because she, she has very much been the face of this takeover and she has very much been the kind of the people's person, drinking with the fans, talking with the fans. She's on Twitter and Instagram posting stuff all the time, apologising, letting us know what's going on, which is way more than we've had from the previous ownership, despite the fact that I think she gets told off for it because every time she posts it, it seems to get deleted within 40 hours. But Amanda Savory has been a great, a great asset to, to what we have. But um I think there's 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 been hints as as we've gone along that her um involvement and what she's been doing has, has slowly um gone down and down that little bit more. Back when the first back when the takeover first happened, it was clear, and I've joked about this a million times because I think it's hilarious that Murdad was playing football manager at one point. He literally bought a football club, got his laptop, and went, right, well, who should we buy this transfer window? I think for 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 a, t for a time when the takeover went through, it was literally Amanda and Murdad. They were the guys who, you know, were the, were the, um, the people at the. Um, the front of the queue, they were the guys getting the, the job done. Obviously, the PIF, the majority owners with the 80% are over here. Then you've got Mandy and Murdad with their smaller share, and then the um, the Ruben brothers were there as well. It was clear that Amanda and Murdad were the people on the front line, you know, ta tackling um, what, what what was to come for, for the club. And um, really what uh, Amanda Stavely's kind of job was fr from, from the initial wasn't necessarily to be that... Majority owner was it? It was it was the PIF. Amanda Stavely's job was to, I guess, be um, the person in the middle, the person who kind of brokered the deal, the person who arranged everything to happen. And as part of that, you know, you know, I tell you what, Amanda will will let you in on the deal. You know, PIF will pay the 80, 80 mi how many how many million? Lots of million. We'll take the eighty percent. But thanks to her great job of like brokering the deal, getting everything to go through, she was. Um, allowed in on it and I think that was positive from the PIF side because it meant that they had someone on the ground you know obviously we've got Big Yass who um, is is the director and obviously has um, is oversees what's going on but it was kind of Amanda and, and Murdad and I guess the Ruben brothers who were kind of like on the ground floor at the very first day and they were able to get involved that yeah yeah you took in 10% as well we'll, we'll get you in on that and it and it was it was great for PIF because they had someone who was there and um, 
you know, English, English uh, knows the club and the area and the Premier League probably a lot better than they did. And then for Amanda and her dad, they got a chance to get their percentage in as well. Um, so really, I don't think Amanda was... I think it possibly just kind of played out that way. I don't think she was necessarily brought in to be that spokesperson. She was just meant to broker the deal and then normally would kind of make her own way off. But because of how things went down, because of, I guess, the love that Amanda was shown and the face of the club and everything that was going so well, I think it was like, ooh, we've kind of, we've done really well here. She's, um, for the for the PIF's perspective, she's done really well as the face of what's going on. Let's keep her, let's keep her, as, let's keep her going as, as long as possible. And with time, things have continued to change in, in the background of what's been going on. As I say, she was given she was given that role to kind of run the show and that was always going to change over time. Uh, and it's clear that things definitely have changed. We've seen the backroom staff of Newcastle United changed dramatically. Uh, obviously, what has Darren... Um, Darren Neils has come in, Darren Ashworth's come in, it's now Paul Mitchell, we've got the new C, oh God, OE, who we're hoping to do the the stadium. And I think it's clear that Darren Neils has, has kind of started to, to take a, a little bit of that, not the face of it, because it's still Amanda, I think, in a lot of people's eyes, but Darren Neils, is, he's coming out and doing the, um, like if we're announcing a new person uh, to join the staff, he's the one who comes out and does the interview. He, and, it, and it's clear that he's starting to take the work away from Mandy. It's not the case where Amanda and Murdoch are playing football manager anymore. They've built a team up. They've come in, they've done the job, they've brokered the deal, they've got the PIF to do, they've got their shares, and then I don't think it's quite as much Ma Mandy and Murdoch around the water cooler in the mornings anymore. I think they probably are heavily involved. I think they will be involved in what's thought to be this big meeting um, this weekend to discuss transfers, but I think they are building up a team so that it isn't solely reliant on them anymore. And with that, as... As I say, the the initial idea was Amanda would come in and she would broker the deal that she'd been given some part of the club. Um, I think, generally speaking, had she not have had that great connection with the fans, probably would have moved into a background role a lot quicker than it's actually reported to be happening now. But I think because there was such a great connection with her and the fans, let, let's run with it. Let's let's keep her around. Now Darren Eels, uh, Paul Mitchell are starting to come in. Um, and take more and more work away from Amanda and Murdoch, they're kind of left in the background. And then that, that's the question next is, can they continue their background role with some percentage in the club? Or is the idea now that she will sell and probably sell to the PIF, they will take an even larger majority and they will pay? Not not necessarily have the owner, like, um, yes, yes, sir, will be involved still as the director, but have the the Darren Eels and the Ashworths have run the club rather than having um, Amanda. Now, don't get me wrong. Are we gutted? Um, I think it's great that we have that face of Amanda Stavely, actually, because PIF is a little bit in the sky. Uh, we know they're the owners. We know they've got all the money. We know, that, But I don't know, as a fan, I, I kind of see Amanda Stavely as the owner. Um, and don't get me wrong, if Amanda did leave she would probably make a great bit of money off the money that she put in initially. I'm sure the shares that she put in three years ago with a hell of a lot now and will uh, will make her a, a, a nice wedge of money, which, as I say, I think was probably the plan generally. Um, I would love it if she could still be part of the club in some capacity. But as I've mentioned already, I think it, for me, outside of her tweets and Instagrams that she probably gets told off about all the time, the more standard interview questions and stuff is kind of landed in Darren Eels' lap rather than Amanda. And she's got other, she's probably ready for her next big adventure, you know? She's working on, um, obviously, there's, there's the, the live thing with like PAF of, are looking to do a hell of a lot of stuff. She's built a great relationship with them through the Newcastle, and they're probably patting her on the shoulder going, Amanda, I know you've had a, a good a few years at Newcastle, but we've kind of we've moved in now. We've got our we've got our money. Um, we've got our we've bought the club. We've got some people on the floor doing the work. Do you mind uh, actually cracking on with with the next one? Um, I think that's possibly uh, what what we will see next. But that doesn't say that I'm not good. As I've mentioned already, I think PIF are obviously great to bring the money in, but I think it's fantastic to have that kind of face. 
in a manner Stavely's done that in a in a brilliant way. If she were to leave, I would be interested to see what would what would happen next in terms of kind of the Ruben brothers, would they potentially look to have more involvement? Because they haven't really had a huge amount. I think I think it's the likelihood is, is that it would just Darren Eels would probably become the man who is the more of the face and PIF will remain to be the money backers in the background. And then I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe Amanda go and do totally different stuff or multi club, anyone, you know, is, is Amanda actually gonna now go out to you know, a French club or a Spanish club or an Italian club and start looking to see who PIF can add to their multi-club model. It wouldn't surprise me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But that's a sad one. As I say, I, like I started off by kind of saying it, it isn't necessarily the bombshell that it's being reported as. I think there's been clear um, observations and links to this happening for a little while now. But that doesn't mean to say that I won't be totally gutted. <laughs> Um, because I was, and, and, and not just because for, for me personally, um, because I've seem, seemingly grown an attachment to these guys who have taken over this football club. But I think from like a prof professional standpoint as well, I think having a man of Stavely as the face of what is Newcastle has been very positive. And I think that's why that's gone on a lot, a lot longer than maybe it would have done. That's why she hasn't moved on to her next project possibly as quick as she would have done. Huge involvement with the women's team as well. I haven't even, haven't even covered that th there. Um, she's had a real understanding of what the fans want. The fans have really grown to like, like Amanda. Um, yeah, massive. Thoughts and comments down below on Amanda Stavely potentially leaving Newcastle as quickly as this summer. Um, I think it would. I think if it, I'm saying it's, I think if it happened this summer, it would be a bombshell. I think it's something that's slowly been happening, but for suddenly to wake up tomorrow and it's done, I think it would be a shock. Thoughts and comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you later.